Well, there's more stuff. Let's go see what they put now. We're back, Baller Town. Let's see what you got for us. I want you to how deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? Alrighty, sold the keyboard. They came over for a local eBay pickup. That's something you can try to do. It'll have more eyes on the prize. And you, if you don't mind people showing up at your house, I like shipping stuff off. I don't mind going to the post office. But with something like that, I would have to create a custom box, a ton of bubble wrap. So it's kind of cool that they just came over for a local pickup. We still went through eBay so that eBay makes their money, PayPal makes their money. Obviously there's fees involved, but honesty is the best policy. Mr. Sleeps a lot, got the bed. Good news, good news. We got a nice little Ikea bookshelf here. I have that same one at home, but in the darker wood color. That's actually a really nice bookshelf. Tomorrow's Easter, we're going back to where I just grabbed that Eureka vacuum, by the way, worked great. Tried it out in my garage, absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna go back and see if they dropped off any more stuff. Well, I grabbed the Swiffer and that little like uh, desktop thing. <laughs> Which is to protect your desk if you're doing like a, a little cutter thing or something like that. I think it's Ikea, I think. Don't quote me on that one. And then I got some vitamin C serum for wrinkles that was in the box. And then uh, I skipped out on the toilet cleaners. Obviously didn't want to get my hands dirty and plus we already got those already. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a little intrigued right now, for sure. So I see a guy with a dolly. He's pushing a dolly back to his garage. And I see boxes in the aisleway, and I slip out real quick as I see him going back so he's not dollying more out. I should probably just go talk to the guy. But that is one, two, three, four, five, six long boxes full of comic books. A couple that we saw on camera, I think a couple of them were autographed. I don't know if they're worth anything. I don't know if I should just grab them all and sort through them later and then just go give them to Salvation Army. That's probably what I should do. Uh, maybe I'm going to look up on eBay, call my brother because I think he might have uh, come across stuff like this. Hold on. All right, got off the phone with Natalie and my brother. I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab one box, the box that I saw the autographs on. I could always come back. I hardly doubt anyone's going to take a bunch of boxes of comic books. So let's grab one, at least one box. He probably put more now. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, okay, so I actually talked to the guy. I was so curious. I didn't want to load my whole entire car up in my garage because I'm trying to clean out the man cave. I probably will just take these to some comic book store and just have them sort through them over like a bunch of time. I asked the guy, I said, hey, are any of them worth anything? And the guy looked a little bit like uh, down and out a little bit. Um, and I, it could have been just a long day. He could have been moving all day. I have no idea. Probably just doesn't have garage space or potentially had to downgrade from a house to a home. But you know, I, who knows, who knows? He might've fallen on some bad circumstances or everything could be golden. And he's just like, I'd rather just purge this stuff out. He might be trying to dial in a man cave. So anyway, I'm not gonna read into it too much, but he said, this was with my exact words to him. I said, hey brother, are those worth anything? He's like, some are. He's like, I pay total 15 grand for the comic books. And he did throw, there was probably an additional 100 in the bottom of the recycling bin. I'm not gonna probably dig those out. The ones in the white case, I'm actually gonna drop them off, go to the bathroom, go back and pick up the rest. 15 grand if I could go to some secondhand store and get even a thousand dollars for all these you better believe I'm gonna do that so again <laughs> all right so this is the this this is very interesting now look at all this okay so the interesting thing was I felt from the Lord that he was gonna bless me with an amazing find. That's my last complex right there. I still have some other cans to go to, but that's my last complex of the day. And I said, you know what, Lord, I trust you. I just have a feeling you're gonna bless me with something really big, something worth a lot of money. This, I, 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 I without a doubt, I think this is it. <laughs> All right, second round in the books. We have more boxes there. 
I'm excited, but I'm a little lenient because if most of these are only gonna fetch, <laughs> I don't know. I can always Salvation Army them, but I wanna do that quickly. And I don't wanna hoard 12 boxes of comic books. And then I went to the other cans adjacent where I didn't check yet. And there were like another probably bunch of boxes. I don't think I'm gonna take those. I think this is plenty to get my feet wet. And if I'm missing out on hundreds of dollars, it's okay because, well, I mean, I could take them, but ah, I'll decide later. But there is some other stuff I want to see, though. There was like a vacuum, some other entertainment stuff. So let's go check that out first, and then we'll ponder on the more comic books. Oh, love, is it like the ocean? What devotion are you? How deep is your love? Is it like Nirvana? Is your love? I took the crate of food. I took uh, a beautiful jacket. Uh, I left some stuff. I actually left two boxes of comic books for another diver. You know, let someone else make some cash. I just kind of didn't really feel like taking the other two. There was probably another 200 or so. And uh, again, you know, I mean, I could have took them. Um, but just, you know, hey, we'll give someone else a little bit of a uh, payday there. Uh, took the crate of food. There looked like there was some brand new, a uh, bunch of brand new food here. We'll look at it when we get home. Well, folks, let's go ahead and recap the day because I know you love it when I recap the day on all the finds, all the action. First thing we're going to do is beautiful potted plant right here. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous with a small little trash can that I'm going to be putting up in the upstairs bathroom. And we have Bren spanking new. This was the same dude with all the comic books. Chicken breast. Are you kidding me? That is healthy. I love it. That's from Costco. And the guy just, you know, just put it in all, all, all the food in here. Absolutely amazing. And expiration dates, totally fantastic. We got seasoned southern beans with potatoes. We got a brand spanking new Prego traditional. Look at all this bumblebee tuna in water. That's Costco. We got uh, canned chicken noodle soup. I don't really do that. Spinach I do, though. Ooh, look at that. That actually looks pretty good. We have mayonnaise I don't do, but you always need mayonnaise just in case. Corn, we do do corn. Uh, more potatoes, more potatoes and greens, collard greens, and some cream of mushroom soup. Some of this stuff I'll just go ahead and just give to the uh, food bank or Salvation Army, let them give to the food bank. Like, I don't, I'm not going to eat split pea with ham and bacon. I mean, sounds pretty good. Definitely the chicken breast, though. Okay, moving on. Uh, beautiful uh, jacket uh, right here. As we come over to Shout, you guys saw me. I'm going to grab, of course I grabbed that. Coming over here to the Eureka Vacuum that supposedly claims that it has a better suction or better than Dyson DC-40 and for half the price. That was an absolutely beautiful pickup right there. Have already tested out on my carpet. Works fantastically. I was actually very impressed. Here is the next beautiful potted plant. How gorgeous is that? And if you're wondering, I probably went out five different trips, uh, three different trips for the comic books. Stacks and stacks. All these are full. Stacks. And stacks, all these are full. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is unbelievable. Look at this, just stacks, more stacks over here. This is unbelievable. These have to be worth some cash. So what we're gonna do, there I found out, I was like, comic book stores still remaining in the world? I didn't know if they're like, baseball cards aren't really worth anything anymore. So I was like, I gotta hold my brother, gotta hold Mr. Sleeps a lot. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Anyway, I Google map it. There's a ton of comic book stores around where I live. There's actually one right down the street from the gym. And so what I'm gonna do, because my small car, I'm either gonna borrow Mr. Sleeps a lot's truck and trek them over there. And they have like the best reviews, like, I mean, just, Everyone's like talking how awesome this comic book shop is. So I'm going to drop them off and I have a goal. I have a goal and we'll talk more about this. I have a goal of $500. The guy said he paid 15 grand for him. Of course, you're not going to make that much money. So I'm going to lowball it and I'm going to be super pumped if what you just saw, I could walk away with $500. How sweet would that be? That's awesome. If it's over a thousand, we're going to be doing a special giveaway and like maybe a challenge video as well. We're gonna do like, we'll, we'll, we'll do something. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll do something really cool. Like the ocean, like the ocean.